This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, February 1st, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout concern based on jet stream, precipitation, and water vapor analysis. In addition, we will now include reporting of fallout potential from emergency nuke plant shutdowns in the U.S. due to their increasing frequency. In Canada, radar at the Weather Office of Environment Canada shows rain currently in the areas north of Vancouver and BC, in Saskatoon and Saskatchewan, far north of Sudbury and Ottawa, and throughout the cities of Quebec and Montreal. The jet stream position will put Montreal and Quebec at the highest risk for radioactive precipitation over the next two days. In the U.S., Alaska is currently under threat between Anchorage and Glacier Bay Park for the next day. Hawaii is currently not under threat. Current radar from IntelliCast and NOAA precipitation tables show a moderate risk from the Seattle area south to approximately Fresno, California. At highest risk are the states of Ohio, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, and Louisiana for Wednesday, and Kansas, Oklahoma, North Texas, Arkansas, and Maine on Thursday due to a shift in the jet stream. An additional area of concern would be for anyone east of the Byron Nuclear Plant in Byron, Illinois, due to an emergency shutdown and possible ongoing steam releases from cooling problems. As a reminder, the status of Cooper Nuclear and Fort Calhoun is currently unknown. In Europe, there is a reprieve for Ireland and the UK for the next two days. Moderate risk, though, of iodine-131 may continue in Finland, Norway, and Sweden, as reported today in air samples collected from January 16th through the 23rd. The Finnish Meteorological Institute is working in cooperation with the neighboring country's radiation protection authorities. It may also be related to current solar activity interacting with high atomic weight Fukushima fallout. Hopefully they will determine the source. Scattered rain with jet stream overlay will put Spain and Italy at the highest risk for the next two days. Regardless of the origin, all radiation is harmful as the effects are cumulative and may be originating from multiple sources in Japan, the US, Europe, and elsewhere. Radiation has no borders and it affects all people regardless of genetics or country. Please care for your fellow man and share this information with others. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.